All right, welcome to another interior real estate photography tutorial. Today, I'm just going to bring you along as I added a full listing here. We're not going to go through every single image, but you can just follow along, and uh, hopefully this helps you. So I've loaded all my images into Lightroom. This is the first image that we're going to be taking a look at. This is a kitchen shot. We are dealing with under lighting uh, in the cabinet, underneath the cabinets, very tungsten-y, if you can see that that's orange. So we're going to deal with the ambient layer first. I'm going to show you how I edit every single image, how I merge them and edit them into Photoshop, and everything I do in between. So here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is do my Leo a first bump preset, and I am just tweaking this. I'm going to move this to standard, maybe bring down my highlights here, bring down the exposure, bring up the shadows. So, the other thing that I've started to do is pop a flash above the camera, maybe a little bit farther behind my camera, to lighten any dark spots within the ambient layer that the natural light isn't lighting for me. So, typically what I'm doing is shooting with lights off, but in this case, I wanted to be, I wanted to have the cabinet tree lighting on just so we can show that it does have the under lighting, you know, under lighting cabinets, or under the cabinet lighting. So in that situation, yes, I will have the lights on. Majority of the time, I shoot with lights off, and I use the ambient layer blend mixed in with my flash for the ambient layer, and then I pop a flash for the window view. That's basically my new system and how I'm doing things. So once I get this looking the way I want it, making sure, yep, my correct profile, lens profile is there. I'm not going to mess with the verticals or anything like that until the final image. I want to make sure everything stays consistent. You can do verticals now. I typically just wait till the final bump on everything, and then I'm going to come over here and hit copy, and then copy. Now all I have to do is paste those settings in, because each, if I did a preset, you know, you get use. I use my presets over here to get me close, so it saves me time initially to set up my custom preset for every listing. Because as you will find out, that every single listing is gonna have just a little bit of tweaking. Each room might have a little bit of tweaking, but you can get it really close by customizing it for that particular shoot, and then it usually stays pretty consistent throughout the shoot as long as you you're kind of file you know you're exposing fairly consistently in each room so with that being said this looks pretty good we have a nice fairly even lit that i think is fairly even lit for the ambient layer i'm going to flag that as by hitting one on my keyboard and let's move on to the next shot again this was just another ambient layer that i took we can paste those settings in see if that looks any better if we bump that exposure up go back yeah actually I do like this one better because if you look right here sometimes with popping that flash it creates more shadows and <laughs> that's the thing you got to be careful of when you're using flash with your ambient layer remember you don't have a repair layer if you have unwanted shadows because now every image had a flash layer that's why sometimes I'll just pop an ambient layer or I'll take an ambient layer with no flash just in case I didn't catch any uh, unwanted shadows. So I'm going to hit zero to uncheck uh, that one. And I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to hit the one on my keyboard to flash that. So this will be my ambient layer. And moving on to the flash layer. We'll paste those settings in. Got a window glare there. But that's okay. We're going to come over to the other side. Where did I do that? Maybe... There we go. And there you can see that I'm back to using the 8600 for this shoot. And we're going to bring that up. This is just our repair for that window. Hit one on my keyboard. And now we can command. I'm holding down command and then just clicking on all the ones. And then right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. So I do shoot on Micro Four Thirds now for a majority of my interior real estate and the exterior on the uh, Leia 7.5 right now. Because I have it set to where if I have that focus turned all the way to the left, I leave it there and everything is in focus. It might depend on your uh, copy, lens copy, how where that perfectly infinity focus lies. But for me, it was all the way over. Just something to think about. I love manual focus for real estate because that way and if you didn't catch it, that it hunted in between shots, especially if you're not near your camera. And things get out of focus and you don't notice it. It's too late when you get back. So I just 
<laughs> even if you're shooting autofocus lens, I prefer, I would suggest doing manual focus and setting it and leaving it. All right, so let's do this. Let's For this situation where I'm using the ambient layer for the majority of the light in this situation, I'm going to. I'm just going to repair the window view and the under cabinet lighting with the flash layer. Is I'm simply going to create a layer mask and leave it white and then make sure black is selected. And I'm going to come up here. Flow is at 5%. And I'm just going to paint back in my window views gently and fix the under cabinet lighting, fix this window, and of course we have to fix that hot spot there. So you will see that one come in. Let's see how that clears it up. And now if I do, so wait, this is my ambient layer. If we turn this to luminosity mode, it can fix it a little bit. I like that. Let's move up our repair layer and we'll just do a layer mask, Command I to invert. And paint that window in to fix that. I'm just going to right click, come down here to flatten image. May or may not have to do that. Command S to save it to bring it back in. I say may or may not because sometimes you, you can just leave it open and hit Command S to save it. Sometimes for my computer, it just takes forever to save it, so I just flatten it. It's not like you can't Command Z to undo it, and it's right back there, but we'll bring it back into Lightroom now so I can show you interior final bump. And all I'm doing there is drink, bring the blacks down. I drop the highlights again, and I still have to tweak that exposure. So right of center is where I want my majority of my exposure sitting, right there. Nice and bright image, clean. And I'm just going to simply hit the top far left, the, the uh, keyboard keystroke to the left of the number one on my keyboard to flag it. And we're going to move on to the next image. Okay, another angle of the kitchen. Pretty much... Uh, we're going to do this pretty quick. I'll show you how quick this goes now. Mm, brighten that exposure. I'm going to flag two now. Since I did one, I usually alternate between one and two. Let's see. That was a window exposure. I'm going to see if I get any other flash shots that didn't have a glare, and I don't. So we're going to have to... Let's see. Got the left window. Did we fix that? Yeah. So we'll just pick one here. We'll do this one. Paste these settings in. Bring that exposure up. Hit two. Do this one. Paste the settings in. And again, exposure up. And then hit two. I'm editing these right along. I just got back from this listing, so you're editing them with me. Okay. Again, layers are in Photoshop. Let's do this. Let's just leave a uh, layer mask, leave it black over here, paint that window view in. And again, I'm just gently painting in, getting rid of that glare, any hot spots. That's really what my flash layer is for. And then we got to correct with unwanted shadows here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to change that to luminosity mode, though. Fix that. And now let's bring up, come, you know, layer mask, command I to invert that now. And now we're going to paint out that reflection there in that window. Maybe fix this one over here. Maybe not. All right, so we definitely got to fix this one over here. How can we do that? White was the issue. There we go. Not sure why it's not fixing it right here. Unless that was supposed to be there. Let's see. Yeah. Alright, that's going to be good enough. I like it. I like it. Let's flatten it. And again, you know what? I'm going to Command Z. Let's just Command S to save it instead of flattening it. And sometimes it, see, it's, it, okay, there, it saved it. Sometimes it takes too long to save, in my opinion. All right, here we go. Let's do an interior final bump. That looks really good to me. Hopefully it does to you, too. Uh, flag it, and moving on. Here's a big open space. This will be fun to do. So, let's paste in our settings. 
Let's see what this gives us. Let's push that histogram to the right. And this will be our last image that we do together. Again, flag at one. What's this one? Is this the flash above the camera? Again, I'm just worried about the windows at this point now. Bring that exposure up. Highlights down. It was kind of cloudy and hazy. That's why you're not getting a real clear view. I mean, that was exposed as I can get it. Flag it for one. We're going to use it. Let's come over here. This will be this window. Paste those settings in. I don't want that window too dark. It's a pet peeve of mine to make you know your windows super dark. This room, we just went around the corner and lit that up. Let's brighten that. Drop those highlights down a little bit. Flag it one. All these. Shift, click to select them all. Right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. All right, ambient layer. Let's toggle that off for now. Let's try to get an even flash layer. Let's see. We want to... This one... Let's see. How can we do this? I got an idea. Okay. We're going to start by bringing this to the top, turning it to lighten mode so if we toggle that on and off let's see if we toggle that on and off we have to create a layer mask but don't invert it paint out that glare oops I hit almost hit P on my keyboard now we can just paint that glare out kinda paint that out we can use a lot of this for the ambient layer or to fix that let's do that let's just leave it like that so let's bring this up and create a layer mask invert it and we can get rid of these shadows here And I'm just basically getting rid of that shadow, even though ambient layer, you know what, let's just undo that. Mm. If I could paint in that. And now what is our ambient layer going to do for us? Let's do this. Let's, uh, let's just try to fix it without doing a complete layer mask inversion here. And we'll just paint back in. And again, be careful not to go too far into the ceiling because then you can see a shadow on the ceiling up there. Natural light is going to be your best bet. And now I'm just painting in those window views there. Underneath the cabinetry, trying to fix the glares. And that's really all I'm doing. This was too dark over here. We're going to have to brighten that up. This is a tough one. I, I kind of didn't give myself enough options here. I should have... Um, I should have came over to the window and did a flash pop because now it's looking a little messy I'm just trying to fix it bringing more of that ambient back in so actually if we do that bring the ambient light back in to where it was we have this shadow here where the flash was we gotta try to eliminate that okay there we go let's zoom out try to tone that down a little bit right there 
Let's see if I can fix that. There we go. Okay. Ah, oh, not perfect, but oh, that's what we gotta do. See this dark spot here? There. Well, can we fix this harsh light on this wall here too? A little bit. There we go. That looks better. But then we get unwanted shadows over here. There. Alright. Let's see. Which one was our ambient layer? The top one here. Luminosity mode. That fixes that orange look. Alright. Let's flatten this. Get it back into Lightroom. Okay. Let's see what the final bump does here. Definitely brightens it up. I guess that is as good as it's going to get. So, again, leave me a comment, leave me a question if you have it, and I look forward to talking to you because I answer every single comment, and we'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.